Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice algebra exponent equation? From here, let's take 4 to this side and this. And we're written as 4 raised to the power x minus 4, then plus x minus 4, now equals to 0 from here. Then we have x minus 4 here, x minus 4 here. So let the letter m be equals to x minus 4. Then we can substitute m now instead of x minus 4. And this equation becomes 4 raised to the power m, then plus m. Now equals to 0. Then next, uh, let's take m to this side, and we have 4 is to the power m, now equals to minus m from here. Then to remove this power of m here, let's multiply both power by 1 over m. Then we have 4 is to the power m, then raised to the power 1 over m, equals to minus m, also raised to the power 1 over m. Then, in the next step, on the law of indices, these two power multiply, and this m can cancel this m, so we are left with 4, which is equal to minus m raised to the power 1 over m. And similarly, we can write this first, and uh, we can say this is minus m raised to the power 1 over m, and is equal to 4. Then, from here, we can represent minus m with 1 over, so we can say let minus m here be equals to 1 over t. And from here, m will now be equals to minus 1 over t. And uh, also, 1 over m will be written as minus t from here. Then, when we substitute this back into what we have, so minus m now, here we can write it as 1 over t, then raised to power, here we have 1 over m here, we can write it as minus t, so we have raised to power minus t, which is equal to 4 from here. Then, in the next step, we have, you know, 1 over t here from the law of indices. When we have a raised to power 1 over a raised to power n, we can say this is a raised to power minus n from here. Here, in this case, is same thing as t raised to power 1, so we can say this is t raised to power minus 1, which is raised to power minus t, then equals to 4 on this side. Then, also from the law of indices, this two power multiply, so minus and minus return to plus, and we have t raised to power t now equals to 4, and also we can write 4 as 2 raised to power 2. So we have t raised to power t now equals to 2 raised to power 2. Then when we compare here, we have t now equals to 2. So we have t equals to 2. But we should recall that m is represented as minus 1 over t. So since m equals to minus 1 over t, it implies that m now equals to minus 1 over 2. So we have this as m. But here, this is not where we are going. Recall that we represented m as x minus 4 from here. We have m to be equal to x minus 4. And we got m to be equal to minus 1 over 2 from here. Then when we equate this, so this gives us from here, we have m now, which is x minus 4, 
now equals to minus half and uh, to solve for x let's take minus for the become plus so we now have 4 that's plus 4 then minus half then here when we bring this together 2 is still the same so this become 8 then minus 1 that's x so x now equals to 7 over 2 which we can see right as 3 over number 1 over 2 so this here we have the solution to the problem which is x equals to 7 over 2 now to check if this satisfy what we have that is the value of x we got here which is 7 over 2 is it satisfying what we have in this equation so let's put 7 over 2 there and this becomes 4 raised to power 7 over 2 minus 4 plus 7 over 2 so this will equal to 4 from here then on the power here the FCM is 2 then this is 7 minus here we have 8 now then plus 7 over 2 is this equal to 4 then 7 minus 8 is minus 1 so we have 4 is to power minus half now plus 7 over 2 here is this equal to 4 from here then this can be written from the negative power that we can write it as 1 over 4 is to power half then plus 7 over 2 is it equals to 4 on this side then 4 raised to power half is the square root of 4 which is 2 so we have 1 over 2 now plus 7 over 2 is it equals to 4 here yeah. we can bring this together and this gives us 8 over 2 and is this equals to 4 of course 8 over 2 is 4 which is equals to 4 left hand side equals to the right hand side and uh, from here we have the value of x we got here is now valid which is 7 over 2 and uh, we have come to the end of this class thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe in order not to miss out and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now